वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन प्रोग्रेसिव स्क्वेयर ऑन कॉट फोर्सेस सो प्रॉब्लम स्टेट्स दैट अ प्रोग्रेसिव स्क्वेयर ऑफ साइज एन इज अ एन क्रॉस एन मैट्रिक्स मैक्सिम चूजेस थ्री एन टीजर्स ए वन वन सी एन डी एंड कंस्ट्रक्ट्स अ प्रोग्रेसिव स्क्वेयर अकॉर्डिंग टू द फॉलोइंग रूल्स ए आई प्लस वन कॉमा जे इज इक्वल टू ए आई जे प्लस सी ए आई कॉमा जे प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू ए आई जे प्लस सी so if a i one comma one is one c two d three n three n three means three cross three square then we build up the progressive square like one plus three here also plus three so one plus three is four four plus three is seven so this row is done for next column we get one plus two that is three then you can add 3 in this so it will be 6 again you add 3 in this it will be 9 now for the next you calculate 3 plus c that is 3 plus 2 which is 5 so 5 plus d which is 3 so 5 plus 3 is 8 8 plus 3 is 11 so like this we build a progressive square so we are given an array here and we need to check Whether it forms a progressive square or not. So what you need to do is first we know that we are building n cross n square. So in checking n cross n square, what we need to do is first let's see a pattern here. so i am starting from 1 my next number is 1 plus d and here 1 plus twice of d correct and here it is One plus c, and then next one plus two c. Now, whenever I get these elements, now this will be one plus c plus d. And same here, one plus c plus two d. Here one plus two c plus d, one plus two c plus two d. So you got the intuition. What we need to do here, we are adding elements. So the minimum element is the first one. So first of all, we will find the array minimum. So let's see here. Here we are three nine five seven one ten four eight. So my minimum is one in this case. Now, after finding minimum, I will store how many elements are present here in a map, so that I get the elements there. So I have first one. that is already taken next i have 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 3 to 10 i have each of the elements one one now i have c2 and d3 So if my c is two, d is three, then what is the next element which I get below one? It will be one plus c, right? So one plus c, three. Then I get here five. These both are in the array, so it is making a square. Good. Then one plus d, 
so here 1 plus d again plus t 4 and 7 are also in area now I will reduce the count of them in the map by 1 1 so 3 is gone 4 is gone and 7 is gone also 5 is gone so what I am left with 3 4 5 6 8 9 and 10 now next I do 4 now here 3 6 9 6 9 1 5 plus 3 8 now 8 plus 3 is 11 now you see I got the last element as 11 but I have 10 in the list I don't have 11 in my list so hence I cannot make a progressive square so I will output no in this case so like this what you need to do is first we will calculate the minimum then we will iterate i from 0 to n and calculate minimum plus i into c so suppose i have 3 cross 3 then it will be minimum is 1 so it will be 1 plus 0 1 plus c and 1 plus 2c which I formed earlier also while explaining and then after storing these first elements I will do in each of them plus d plus 2d which means it will be j into d where my j is also from 0 to n so here j 0 so plus 0 plus 0 and plus 0 taking here till n equal to 3 so this will be my matrix and after forming this matrix whenever we form one element we will find if this exists in map or not if this exists then reduce the count of it in the map and if does not exist simply return no so hence this is the solution to the problem i hope you all understand the solution now let's look at the code to understand it more better so here is the solution we define the minimum by int max then take map we store the elements in map and increment their count so mapping the numbers to their frequency in the array and we find the minimum here itself then we calculate mn plus i into c which gives us the row move if mp of row move is not defined which means the element which we got from mn plus i into c is not there in the array we simply output no and return same we do for d which means the rows and if this condition is satisfied as well as this condition is satisfied then we output yes so i hope you all understand the solution and if you see this for loop is a whole so we are calculating the first then calculating the corresponding row and then again moving to the next column calculating it then calculating the corresponding rows